anarchy movement here in Arizona. The reason for this movement is because there are forces right now in this country that are actively trying to subdue our democratic republic. And it was about eight months ago that someone said to me an old quote that said, when good people do nothing, that's when evil wins at it. And I took that to heart and got very, very fired up. And that's why we're here today. The main core initiative of this movement is to end the duopoly of the two-party broken system that we currently have. How do we get there? Well, opening up primaries and instituting rate choice voting is stepping stones to allow us to get there. By implementing rate choice voting, what that's going to do for all of us is give us more candidates and more choices. And opening up primaries, absolutely vital, because when we do that, then the people will get to see all of the candidates, Republican, Democrat, Independent, minor party, they'll get to see all of the candidates compete on one stage so they can hear the message from everyone and then determine who they feel would be the best candidate. So, why? Why is ending the current two-party system our main initiative? Because all it seems like our politicians and our legislators do is play a game of agendas and power grabs. It's this side needs to win the House, this side needs to win the Senate to have control. It's just a game. And the problem with that game is that nothing gets done. And when I say nothing, I mean meaningful legislation for us, the people. On top of that, what it's done is create a political divide and polarization of the country. So if you're not on board with this idea, then we're not gonna be on board with your idea, okay? It's a systemic problem of nonsense. So, then by implementing the other two initiatives, ranked choice voting and opening up primaries, once again, that's going to give us, the people, the voters, more choices in qualified candidates. So the problem with, the, with this polarization and with this right and left two-party system is that the candidates that are supposed to be representing us, the people, the people who vote them in, instead, their loyalty goes to their party. So politicians are really good at making promises and telling you, I'm gonna fight for this, I'm gonna fight for this, and then you vote them in, what happens when they get in Congress? No bills get passed. Why? Because it's a broken two-party system that doesn't want to work together. The word partisan and bipartisan to me is insane. We shouldn't even have to say those words because we should have a collective group of qualified, educated individuals working together to write our laws and put meaningful legislation for our country so that we can benefit as the people. Some of the biggest issues in our country today include inflation, healthcare, education, civil rights and liberties, and political misinformation campaigns and accountability for those who do it. And all of those are important. And we needed legislation, we needed policy that gives us these things or fixes these things, but it never gets done. Why? Because none of these ever get solved because we have two parties that are more interested in gaining power and gaining control instead of doing their job. Their job is to write and make laws that benefit society, us, the people. They're not doing that, so what are they doing? 
And here you see a quote that I like from John Adams. Okay, so John Adams stated, there is nothing which I dread so much as a division of the republic into two great parties, each arranged under its leader and concerting measures in opposition to each other. This, in my humble apprehension, is to be dreaded as the greatest political evil under our Constitution. I want that to sink in for a moment. One of our founding fathers said this. And he knew that dividing our country up into simply a two-party system would be our downfall. And it is. We cannot continue on this path. What's that old saying? Albert Einstein? The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So why are we expecting different results when all we keep doing is voting right, left, red, blue, Republican, Democrat? Nobody else gets a shot. No independents, no other parties, just the two major parties in America, the Democrats and Republicans, and that is an unacceptable duopoly. They don't write and pass legislation for us, the people. So I say, enough. The time for talk is over. And the time for action is now. So join us. I hope you got a lot out of it. I hope you're motivated and you want to do something about it. And if you do, join us. You can go to peopleoverpartyus.com. There are also, in this video, if you're watching online, there will be links to other minor parties and links to watch videos to get educated on ranked choice voting, ending voter suppression, and opening up primaries. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great night. I'm Evan. I'm going to get out of here. Take care.